Hi guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Today I want to talk about how I take other people's trash and turn it into my treasure. And by saying that, what I mean is I take things that people sit out on the side of the road before waste management comes by to collect their trash, things they don't want. Um, those are things that um, I take and I give it a little bit of elbow grease, uh, add a little paint, and put a little bit of my style to it. And I've furnished and decorated about 85% of my home with other people's trash. And so I wanted to get behind the camera and go around and show you guys some of the um, projects and things that we've done with other people's trash. And in hopes of inspiring you, if you see something on the side of the road and it has good bones, it's a solid wood piece, just don't have any shame of picking it up. Because for one thing, it's free. Okay, who don't like that? Free. And another thing is, you're gonna bring new life to it. You're repurposing it. You, uh, did I mention free already? Free, free. Um, and you add a little bit of your style and there's nothing wrong with it. And it's actually, you're able to put your creative mind to things and it's actually fun. And you know when you get tired of it, you put it on OfferUp, Craigslist, have a garage sale, sell it and make some money. I mean, there's nothing wrong with taking things that the other people don't want and reusing it. So anyway, I'll quit rambling and I'll get behind the camera and show you some of my fun things. Actually, um, if you turn, if you look behind me, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this, the window and the shutters. Those were roadside finds, and actually they were um, already distressed like that, and I liked the way it looked, so I just cleaned it up, and I added this um, wreath, which I got, or I made, created with Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree Floral, I can't talk right, Dollar Tree Floral, and then the mirror, I believe I got from my garage sale for about $3, so um, my little shaggy. She's sleeping. Um, anyway, and I will move on so you guys can see all my good treasures. Okay, so let's talk about the desk. Um, my husband and I found this. It was busted up. Um, the top of the desk was fine and the legs were fine, but the drawers were busted up. But the fronts of the drawers were okay. So what we did is we put it all back together and then drilled the fronts of the drawers onto the face of the desk. And so they don't work. They're not actual drawers, but they look like drawers. And then I painted it. Um, those knobs or handles were already intact, so that was good. I painted it and um, I did not, the color was awful. I don't, I don't know if I just mentioned that it was a yellow mustard color. So I painted it and I got the little bin thing right there from Target and that's my little desk. And then if we move on over to this chair here, um, it's a little, this cover's a little bit ratchet. My cat got a hold of it, but this, someone said, I don't know if they were going to recover it or what they were going to do, but there was, you know, they had cut it up and I thought, you know what, the bones are really good on it. So I'll just um, either try to recover it myself or maybe find a slip cover. So I found the chair slip cover um, at Target on the clearance um, end cap for about $13. And I covered it up and that's my chair. Then we'll move, move on over. This um, little lamp right here. It was, um, the stand is what we found. It was black and rusty. And um, so I kind of took some sandpaper and cleaned it up and roughed it up and spray painted it white. And then I took and found this little lampshade at Ross for $6.99. And there we go. Okay, moving on over to the other side of the bed. Um, this is my husband's side of the bed. This solid wood little nightstand um, was in horrible 
uh, looking condition, but the bones of it were great. It's solid wood. Um, I mean, it was dirty, and it was kind of a, I don't even know, I can't even explain what color it was, like a honey golden wood color, I don't know. So, same thing, sanded it down, got a $4 can of spray paint from Walmart, and spray painted it white, and there's his nightstand. Okay, and this little coral table, it was another roadside find. Um, it was black. Here, let me move this chair out of the way. It was black, and the legs on it needed to be tightened up. They're all wobbly. And so I took some Oops paint from Lowe's that was actually this pretty coral color that I wanted to use as a pop of color in my room. And same thing, cleaned it up, sanded it down, and I use it as my makeup vanity. Um, then, let's see that lamp I got from Goodwill for $3.99. That's my little, I'm thinking about, I don't know, what do you guys think? Adding some string lights, you know, to the mirror, maybe give it instead of using that Goodwill lamp. I don't know, but anyway, the mirror, we found that, and it was, it already looked just like that, um, the silver kind of distressed, and so I just left it that way, and I thought, it fits perfectly on this desk, and so that's where the mirror came from. I don't know if I can excuse my unorganized makeup thing. I don't know, well, you could see it was black, um, I need to organize my makeup. Sorry, guys. It's all a mess. But it fits everything perfect. And then the little organizers are from our favorite store, Dollar Tree. Oh, I just wanted to throw this um, out. You see this little lamppost thingy? Someone set that out. And I mean, it's, it's like brand new. And I thought, you know what? I can use that for filming, for some light. And that's what I use it for. Free. Okay, so this little, um, I call it a sofa table now, but it was, I think it's actually um, an old entertainment holder. Like, the, you know, a console, TV console, I'm not sure. It was kind of a black espresso color, um, you know, just dingy looking. And so I took some chalk paint that I got from Michael's, and I painted the outside um, this bluish color. And then I took and painted the inside like a white. And then these, let me get a little closer. These little drawer, basket drawer things I found at Home Goods. For, I think they were maybe $9.99. And then these cute um, little crates I found at Ross for $6.99 a piece. And there's my little sofa table. Okay, okay guys, I had to share this. Um, this is a, um, a decorative table, um, and this was actually a hand-me-down. My baby sister had it, and it was it's from the Bombay Company, and it actually was cherry wood, and it was scratched up. Um, she has three little kids, and it was scratched up, and it just really wasn't fitting her style, and she just doesn't have time to you know, or she didn't really, she's not like me. She's not a repurposer, but she didn't want it. And so I took it, sure thing, because it's free. And I painted it um, and made a little bit of my style. And so here's what it is. I had to throw that in. Okay, guys, I don't know how the lighting of this is turning out, but this chandelier was found, um, Sitting out beside the road next to the garbage can. Um, it was kind of a beige color. Um, and so what I did is I spray painted it white and, and the shades on it were like a dark chocolate color. So I painted the uh, chandelier white, hot glued and wrapped the rope all around this. Then I took the shades on it. I'm trying to show it. I know it's hard. It's the lighting is probably not good. But I took the shades and spray painted them turquoise and then added a little rope detail to them. Um, let's see. Well, that's about as good as we're going to get. Okay, 
and then coming down to my dining room table. This was not a roadside find, but it was a Craigslist find. Um, I'm a Craigslist junkie too. This table, um, I've had it for lots and lots of years. It was actually black with a cherry wood top on it. And I wanted to brighten it up, so sanded the top down. And underneath that cherry shiny stuff was this. And so I just, I left it. I loved it and sealed it off. Um, painted the chairs white. Then, this, the seat covers are actually a Target clearance shower curtain. And so I got three clearance shower curtains. They were $9.98 a piece, and I used that fabric to cover the chairs. Okay, so this little uh, round table was a dark cherry wood, and it was all scratched up, and we found this on the side of the road. Same thing, I took and painted it white, added a little gray glaze to it, and there you go. This nice, um, I guess you call it like lanterns thing. Someone set this out, and this is from Pier 1, and you guys, if you shop at Pier, you know how expensive this is. The glass was broken out of it, and so my husband just cut some glass for it, and there we go. And I just added a little, you know, a bit of my style, some glass, you know, sea glass, and there we go. Looking over at Miss Ruru, she's laying there. That is a repurposed old drawer on an old bar stool that was thrown out. That's roadside finds too. And she likes to sit, our cats or her like to sit and look out the window. So that's their little DIY for them. Then I want to move on over to this glass uh, holder. The top of it, I don't even know if you can see real well, the top of it was um, broken and so we, my husband just cut the top of it off and kind of smoothed the edges and then I just added some Hobby Lobby flowers and there we go. This is above my um, breakfast table and this actually was a Goodwill um, makeover. I know the lighting is not good and I'm sorry, I'm hoping that you kind of get the idea here. The chandelier I found at Goodwill for $14. It was brass. I spray painted it white. The mason jars, oh, I hate that it's not that good of a lighting, were found at Michael's on clearance for 60 cents a piece. And then the tops of the mason jars were found at the Target Dollar Spot. And this is above my breakfast table. Above this table. Okay, this, so this is the last project I'm going to share because this would be too long of a video, but these three stools were another roadside find. Um, the bottom was okay. The tops of the bar stools were stained up and dirty, and I think there were a couple rips in them. So what I did is went to Hobby Lobby and found this, I thought it was pretty, pretty fabric, and screwed the tops of the bar stools off and staple, you've got a staple gun and staple the fabric and there you go. They look like brand new. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed um, some of my trash to treasure finds and I, and I hope it inspires you to just step out of the box. And if you pass by something, like I said, there is no shame. Just grab it, clean it up and paint it, and put some style to it. Little Shuggy, she, she says it's time for bed, Mommy. Anyway, until next time, guys, talk to you later. Bye.